Hey, this is Chris from Essential SQL, and if you find yourself working with nulls and want to replace them with other values in the results of your queries, then watch this video. All right, let's get right into it. What I'm going to do today is show you how to use the isNull function to take a null and replace it with another value that you can show in the, your results of your query. So let's start out with a sample query that I've put together. Let me get this paste it in and you're going to see that um, this is just a list of products from the VentureWorks database and you'll see that for some of the products the color is null and what we'd like to do is change that to the color of unknown so how can we do that so we want to change the value we're going to change it from a null to some other value well I can use the is null function and I can come in here and it's really pretty simple I can just say is null I'm going to do lowercase to be consistent and then I would say color, and that's, that's the column I want to work on. And then I'd say unknown. So it's just a string that I'm sticking in there. And then I can call it color again. All right. And when I run this, now notice that my column has the unknown value. Now you may wonder why I have color here and color at the end. That's just an alias on the column, right? If I run it without the alias, see it says no column name. It doesn't know what to call the result of this expression. So I just tell it, you know what, just call it the same thing as color was, and then everybody's cool. And if people needed to use this elsewhere, if it was in a view or something else, they'll know it's pretty obvious that it's the color. Okay, so that's how easy it is to use uh, is null. So let me talk about one issue that will trip you up. It's a data typing issue, and it's kind of interesting. And what it is is that when the is null is doing its conversion, it will implicitly convert based on the data type of color. So in our case here, I think color was wide enough. It's, it's like let's say it's like a very care twenty, so it has can hold like let's say twenty characters. So is null will be able to be implicitly converted into color because unknown is less than 20 characters and it won't get chopped off. But if color was smaller, you know, like three or four characters, then our is null function would come back differently. So let me show you that here. And I'm going to we'll do is bring in a script. So we're going to just comment this part out. Uh, we don't need that anymore. And then I have this data type issues. I'm going to set up color as a four character variable. And then if I do, say select at color, looks like I type right. This is just pretty straightforward. It might look weird, but all I'm doing is saying take a variable, let's declare it, let's set it to red and then just tell me what's inside the variable and you can see it comes back as red. All right, so now let's set color. Let's do this. Let's um, add the is null function here, right? And then I'll say unknown. And then I think we'll just call it quits at that. When I run this, you see it comes back as red because there's no issue with it being null. Now let's change color to null. And this is where you're going to see the issue. So now what's going to happen is, is you're going to see this get chopped off. And why is that? Because it's taking the value of 4. So if you know that you're always going to have this issue, like if you sometimes you can go and look at the tables and you can see what the value is, you could cast this. So I could say cast, you know, um, color as bear care 10 and then when I run it it'll come back with unknown because now it's implicitly made this uh, you know this is very care 10 so when it goes to do the implicit conversion unknown is gonna fit inside okay that's one way to deal with this another is is to use coalesce so if I did a which is a sister function to is no if I said select coalesce at color and then unknown, what you'll see is that this is going to pick 
the first un, the first non-null that it can find and then I'll put it and to make sure that we don't muddy the waters let's just get rid of the original is null try a coalesce on this and you'll see it comes back with unknown and so here it's not implicitly converting the data type you know it's, it was four characters but it re will return a type that um, also was able to accommodate our value of unknown. So that's also like a slight introduction to coalesce, but I really wanted to talk about is null and is null is compact and very easy to use. And it's a super great way to use it in your results and other um, expressions to take a value that is null and then convert it. So I can just to give you a quick side by side we'll just do this and then when I run it you see here's the color nulls I changed them to the is null value and it's a super great way to be able to eliminate those nulls when you're working with um, either text or numbers all right have a great day do not forget to go to www.essentialsql.com check out the site go to the tutorials sign up for fearless sql there's a wait list and i'll talk to you later bye